Welcome to our channel, Code Engineering. Is your centrifugal pump eating up too much power? Are you tired of high operating costs and frequent maintenance shutdowns? In this video, I'm going to give you 7 practical and easy to follow tips to boost your centrifugal pump's efficiency, backed by real-world engineering experience. And hey, if you have any doubts during the video, please feel free to drop them in the comments below. I'd love to help you out. Improve pump efficiency equals save power, increase life, and get better performance. Tip number one, always run your pump as close as possible to its best efficiency point, or BEP. When a pump operates far from its BEP, it faces increased vibration, hydraulic losses, and even potential cavitation. This damages the pump and wastes energy. Select pumps based on actual flow requirements, not worst-case scenarios. Tip number two, trim or select the right impeller diameter. An oversized impeller causes overpumping and energy waste. A trimmed impeller helps match the pump's capacity with system demand more efficiently. And here's an engineer tip, trimming is cheaper than buying a new pump. Tip number three, optimize your suction and discharge piping. Avoid sharp bends, long runs, and unnecessary fittings. Friction loss means more head, and that means more power is required. Use larger diameter pipes and streamline layouts wherever possible. Tip number 4. Regularly check and correct shaft alignment. Misalignment between the motor and the pump causes mechanical losses and premature bearing or seal failure. Use laser alignment tools for high precision. Tip number 5. Upgrade to IE3 or IE4 motors and install a variable frequency drive, also known as a VFD, if your flow demand varies. VFDs reduce motor speed when full flow isn't needed, saving massive energy, especially in HVAC, irrigation, or process industries. Tip number 6. Inspect and replace worn-out seals and gaskets. Leaks reduce volumetric efficiency and increase maintenance costs. Use mechanical seals instead of packing wherever possible. Tip number 7. Don't wait for failure. Follow a preventive maintenance schedule. Monitor pressure, flow, and vibration regularly. Even small drops in performance can signal a bigger issue coming. Bonus tip. Install smart sensors or IoT-based monitoring systems for continuous efficiency tracking. Improving centrifugal pump efficiency isn't rocket science, but it can save you thousands in energy bills, reduce downtime, and extend pump life. Which of these 7 tips are you using already? Let me know in the comments. And if you want a full video on pump curve interpretation or maintenance checklists, hit that like button. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want more content like this, comment it down below. I'd love to hear from you.